Not guilty pleas today from Philadelphia City Council member Kenyatta Johnson and his wife to corruption charges. Eyewitness News reporter Shante Lanz is at the federal courthouse in Center City with the story. Shante. And Yuki, they pleaded not guilty. Both the councilman and his wife tell me that they're innocent. Eyewitness news cameras were rolling as they held hands as they left federal court today. They again are saying that they are not guilty of this. That's what they pleaded not guilty to two counts each of honest services wire fraud. The councilman and his wife consultant Don Chaveau surrendered to authorities earlier today. Johnson, who represents South Philadelphia in the city's second district, was named in a 22 count indictment alleging a wide range racketeering conspiracy that included bribery, fraud and tax offenses. Now, federal prosecutors say the councilman and his wife are accused of allegedly accepting bribes of more than $66,000 from two business executives with a company called Universal. Federal prosecutors believe the money was passed through Johnson's wife's consulting firm. Prosecutors say the cash was in exchange for actions by the councilman on the zoning of two Phila South Philadelphia properties. Councilman Kenyatta Johnson and his wife spoke with reporters after their arraignment. My position is, is the same as it was on these last couple days. Um, I am innocent. Um, I have pleaded um, not guilty and I look forward to uh, my day in court to exonerate uh, my name. You heard what I said in court, so I'm innocent. No comment after that. Thank you. You can talk to my attorney. It went exactly as we expected. The councilman stood up and Don Shabu in particular stood up and strongly stated that they're not guilty. As we've said all week, we're going to fight this case. These charges are not strong charges. They were brought after an investigation that was flawed by prosecutors who were looking to find a crime instead of looking to find the answers. And we will have our day in court and the councilman will be vindicated. And bail was set for both the councilman and his wife at $15,000 each. They were released on their own personal recognizance. Live outside of the federal courthouse in Philadelphia, Shante Lands, CBS 3 Eyewitness News. Shante, thank you. We could